Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love, the self-love makeover artist, and this channel is all about helping you to heal and nourish your energetic blockages so you can vibrate on the frequency of love. Now today is my seven and eighth month success story update using the law of attraction. I cannot believe it has been that long already. I have manifested so many beautiful things that in this episode, I actually can't share all of them, otherwise it would be like two hours. So I'm just gonna summarize and let you know the highlights. Um, before I get onto that, I just wanted to let you know, if you have never used or consciously used a law of attraction before, what I highly recommend you do is jump over to my playlist, Law of Attraction, and click on the first video, which it says how to manifest anything. In that video, I talk you through 10 of my hottest tips, um, and then through the rest of the series of the Law of Attraction, I give you more in-depth knowledge to help you along your journey. And ever since I've been using the Law of Attraction, life has been so much easier, and it's made me be very aware about my resistance to certain things and how I need to release them in order to allow the manifestation to unfold. So we have so many beautiful things to go through. Oh my gosh. Number one, I'm in a brand new house right now. I have literally moved house. I am, honest to God, 200 meters from the beach. When I open my windows um, to let fresh in fresh air in at nighttime, I can literally hear the sound of the waves crashing on the shore. Like mind blown. I didn't even realize that it was possible for me to have a house near the beach. I used to think that it was so expensive to live near the beach, but through the power of the law of attraction and visualizing that that was the life that I wanted, I wanted to be able to get out of my bed first thing in the morning and then go for a walk on the beach. And I can do that now, which is so amazing. And it's like when you literally visualize what you want, you feel the emotions associated with it as if you've already got it. The universe just takes care of the how. And I'm so grateful to be here and this place is so amazing. In the process of moving houses, we obviously had to get rid of some stuff. As you guys know, if you've been following me for a while, I'm a minimalist or if you're new here, ah, hello. And through that process, Peter and I have actually gotten rid of more stuff. We actually sold a lot of our stuff because this house actually came fully furnished, which was amazing. Goodbye, bed. Goodbye. Thank you so much for being a beautiful mattress and for giving me so many lovely cozy nights sleep. Enjoy your new home. So I actually manifested that through the process of selling things and also buying new things, everything happened so quickly. Like, I mean, so quickly. There were two items that took, no, one item that took a really long time to sell. And at the end, I had to give it away for the fact that I had a lot of resistance on it. I actually purchased it from a friend who were actually not friends anymore. And so there was a lot of resistance in my vibration to that. Hence the reason it took like literally until one hour until we handed the keys in that it was at the house and I gave it away for free. So it was so interesting to see the contrast of things that I had no resistance to and the things that I did. Anyways, it was so amazing. We sold the stuff, we're in a brand new house. Um, it feels so good, the energy is amazing. We're renting off the most beautiful people ever and it's at an, a price that we can, an all-inclusive price that we can easily afford. And I love it. I'm in love. I don't think I have felt love for a house like this, maybe even ever, which is so beautiful and I love it. Anyway, so that's the biggest thing. Uh, well, actually I have a lot of big things. <laughs> well, that's one of the big things. The other one is that I launched my business, melaniekatelove.com. It is officially live. And that's the reason why I actually didn't get my video out for the seven month update, hence this being combined. Um, yeah, I launched my business. I've had the opportunity to provide private spiritual readings for beautiful souls who are on their journey to self-love and they need some clarity and guidance along the way. And I actually had the opportunity to read for some beautiful people. One of them being a New York Times bestselling author, Sandy Lynn. And it was so amazing to receive a testimonial back from her. And I was like, oh my gosh, like this is a, the best feeling in the world. I felt so much love and gratitude over this 
I don't know, I feel love and gratitude every day, but it's just, I feel like it's heightened recently. And it truly fills my heart with so much joy to be able to help people on the journey where they are struggling to find clarity and I'm able to help build the, like bind the pieces of the puzzle together to give them a story and direction of where they need to go. So if you are ever looking for clarity and guidance, please click the link in the description. I would love to read for you. Uh, it's one of my favorite things to do and I love that I can say that that is a part of my job. It, uh, I never thought that I ever would be reading, like that would be something I'd be doing. Like I'm a qualified primary school teacher and I've worked with children in foster care with highly complex needs and like youth work and the contrast of that, like I even studied plant-based nutrition because I thought that's where I was headed. Turns out no, no, I... I can hear angels talk to me and you know, it's weird and I love it and it's so amazing. So jump over to my website. If you don't want to book a reading, it's completely okay. But I've also created for you a self-love starter kit. In it, I've actually created three simple strategies to help raise your vibration literally today. One of them is a 14 minute and 14 seconds um, morning mindset audio. It helps you feel like the most amazing person in the whole wide world. The other one is a five minutes to bliss guided meditation, which is perfect whenever you feel like resistance coming on and you're like, oh God, this day's not going well. Just pop it on within five minutes, you'll be like, oh. Yes, smell, thank you. And then the other one is a self-love practices workbook where I help you literally nut out what does self-love look like for you? And we talk about like, when was a time where you were truly the most happiest? What did it look like? What did it feel like? What did it smell like? You know, and how can we get back to that stage? So download my self-love practices workbook. Oh my gosh, it's just like, there's been so many little things go on within the business world and there's too many to list. The other one is, da, 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 my engagement ring arrived. I don't know if you can see that. It is a rose quartz crystal. And it was exactly what I had on my vision board. Not even joking. It is 99% of what was on my vision board. It was on my phone, it's on my computer. And every time I looked at it, I was like, universe, please bring me this ring. And then I found it and then we got it and I put it on. I was like, oh my God, it's stunning. And I did have a little bit of an anxiety around it for the first three days. And a lot of blockages came up to be like worthiness. And do I deserve to have this ring? Cause this ring is so nice and I haven't had such nice things in a long time, which was so much resistance that I was working through. And then it got to the point where it was like, I deserve it. I am engaged to the most beautiful man in the whole wide world and I found him by using the law of attraction. Like, what? And then I found my ring and I know it's just a material possession that doesn't, it symbolizes love, but I don't think you could symbolize our love in a ring, but I chose the rose quartz crystal because that symbolizes love and compassion and love for yourself, love for others. And it just fit perfect and I love it. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, I just gotta check my notes because there's a lot and I don't wanna ramble for too long. <clears throat> oh, and then the other thing, I've manifested so many new clothes. From doing my self-love practices recently, I have noticed that, I don't know if it's because of the change of seasons and we've gone from winter clothes into like summer, like shorts and stuff, but my clothes don't really fit me anymore. And so I haven't been working out. If anything, I've been practicing more self-love and I know that love heals all blockages and I know that love has the power for, to shift weight and blockages. I've done a lot of work on releasing someone who, anyway, I've done a lot of inner work recently. I've cried a lot of tears and I've surrendered to the universe. I've set myself free. And as a result, I've lost a lot of weight. Well, maybe I haven't lost a lot of weight, maybe, my mind is catching up with my body. I don't know, it's weird that, you know, I used to be like a size 14, sometimes I was even a size 16 in bottoms, and now I'm a size 10, and I was buying dresses in like a, like this dress is like a size eight, like this is a new dress, and I just love it, and I put it on, and I was like spinning around in front of Peter the other day, and I was like, this is so cool, like, 
I love my life. I love the, you know, this dress, I just love it. And it was at such a beautiful price that I just couldn't resist. And I got new glasses and I got a new backpack and everything was just at the perfect price. And I found it at the perfect time. Oh my gosh, you would not believe this. As I was going to purchase my backpack, right? I saw it and I was like, oh, I don't know if it's leather or not because it was missing its tags. So I went home and I was like, angels, I really love this bag and I needed a laptop bag. So when I work in cafes, I don't have to like carry my laptop in this ugly case. And I wanted to step into my power and walk in and be like, yeah, you know, I have a business now. I'm MelanieKateLove.com, you know, like stepping into my power. I wanted a nice backpack. Anyway, so I saw the bag, went home, was thinking about it. And I was like, okay, I'm going to ask my angels if this bag is vegan. No joke. I pull out my numerology deck and out comes the compassion card. Compassion for animals of all things. It was fake leather. I was like, oh my flipping God. Thank you, angels. Anyway, so I went back to the store <laughs> and I asked the girls, like, can you just scan this thing, this tag, and let me know what comes up on the screen? And she said it said leatherette. And I was like, dude, angels, I love you. And it was just like the power of just like, trusting my angels and surrendering to the process. It's like, if it was leather, fine, I wouldn't buy it. Or if it was leatherette or faux leather, whatever you want to call it, I would buy it. And it was at a price that I could easily afford. And I quickly went back, I picked it up, I put it on and I was like, oh my God, it fits my laptop. It's perfect. I love it. And, and it was nothing like I thought I was going to have. I thought I was going to have a black bag, but this one's like this brown leather. And you know, I just, Everything is going so well and there's so many things that are happening so quickly and like this house here for instance we were able to furnish it like make it our home within two days like two days our last house I honestly it was months and months and months like we spent like months manifesting the dinner table and then months manifesting the rug and like everything here was just like boom the only thing we haven't manifested is house plants and I want about six of them because I want nature to be all around me because it's got such a high beautiful frequency but I just wanted to let you know my loves that wherever you are on your manifestation journey everything that you're going through is a lesson and if you start applying my 10 tips that are in my video how to manifest anything I'll just link it on the end card for you you can literally start to manifest your dream life like I'm living in this beautiful house with my fiance near the beach i'm filming in front of this massive window so i have beautiful light i got this new background from the fabric store the other day and like i found that super quick too and i got a new doona cover for my bed we got a new rug what else i don't know it's just it's such a good feeling to step into your power and just be like I surrender to the process. Universe, I know you're going to bring me all this delicious goodness. All you have to do is to stay positive. Staying positive, doing your self-love practices, anything that raises your vibration and makes you feel like the most beautiful person in the whole wide world, flip and do it. And I'm living proof that this is possible. Oh my gosh. Imagine what's going to happen like in a year from now when I'm looking back at these videos. I keep a detailed list of everything that I manifest on my phone and my computer. It's linked to the app Evernote. If you've ever used Evernote, oh my gosh, you would know it's so good. And as I'm going back and I'm looking at the stuff that I've manifested, like my list for like my third month was like this big. My list for like now is like, shh, I'm scrolling through. Oh, and then I also, get this, got featured on a blog for dkuncovered.com, which is one of my beautiful viewers. Hello, thank you so much. You featured me on your blog. Like, how nice is that? Like, it just blew me away. I was like, yes, universe. Like, thank you so much. And I just hope that, I just wanted to make this video, not to brag, but to give you hope and to let you know you can literally start manifesting the, the dream life that you have always wanted. You can manifest your dream body. You can manifest your dream house, your dream fiance, husband, manifest abundance coming in, in all forms. Like it's just, oh, I don't know how, <coughs> I don't know how else to explain it, but life is good and life is getting better by the day. Anyways, I just wanted to pop in. I'll have another video 
um, within the next month and give you more updates of everything that I'm going through. Gosh, only knows what's gonna happen in the next month. And yes, to summarize, all you need to do, visualize what you want. Feel the emotions associated with what you want as if you've already got it. And release your blockages, which is the most difficult, but I've got a whole playlist on release blockages and it will manifest into your reality. It is law. If you feel the emotions associated with it, it has to come into your reality, which is, mo is amazing. And yeah, anyways, I'll just leave you with that. But please comment below and let me know what have you manifested recently? I don't care if it's been a parking space. I don't care if it's been a car or a dream trip or like you've got a holiday overseas. Oh my gosh, how amazing would that be if you want a holiday? Oh my gosh, I'm just dreaming about going to Ireland because. Peter and I haven't been back for a while and I can't wait to be able to go and I'm dreaming about manifesting first class. I'm manifesting more clients coming through so I can read for them. I'm manifesting more of you guys downloading my self love starter kit. Oh my gosh, it's like endless. It never stops, but it's so beautiful. It's like when you feel grateful for exactly what you have and you're like, I love my bed, I love my pillow, I love my beautiful partner, Peter. I love that I live near the beach. I love that my house is furnished exactly how I am. Like, it's like if you have an attitude of gratitude, the universe brings you more, which is amazing. Anyways, have an amazing day wherever you are in the world. Remember, please hit the bell because it's gonna let you know when I upload videos. Some of you actually aren't getting my videos because you haven't hit that bell. And yeah, you need to hit it right now, okay? Anyways, I love you. I will see you next episode. Have an amazing day wherever you are in the world. And I hope that you are raising your vibration and doing whatever you can to vibrate on the frequency of love. Okay, goodbye.